in this lecture so we are going to learn about continuity of a function in its domain okay so we will learn about continuous function okay so let's see so last lecture so we learnt about continuity of a function at some point okay so we found that okay if limit f of x x tends to c if this is equal to f of c then f of x is continuous is continuous at c okay but now we are looking at a bigger picture so that is is a function continuous at every point in its domain is fx continuous at every point in its domain okay so that will be our aim now so let's see so if the domain of the function is given as a so this is a closed interval a to b and a function will be continuous so f of x is continuous in its domain which is a to b if fx is continuous at every point in its domain okay so every point if fx is continuous at every point in its domain then it will be continuous in a to b interval so that's very simple so it's like you are just checking its continuity at every point and if it is continuous at every point then it is continuous in the whole of the interval but there are few things to note okay so this is a this is b and we are only concerned with this region isn't it so i am only concerned with a to b point okay and i don't bother anything about this side and this side okay so what will be the continuity at points a and b isn't it because we were talking in terms of limit of left hand and right hand should be equal but here you are saying that okay i am only concerned about this region isn't it this particular region i am concerned about then i should not look at the left hand side of a or the left hand limit at point a similarly we should not be concerned at the right hand side of point b so now we want to define a few things so continuity at a and continuity at point b so these i should be clear about so limit so it will be continuous at a okay here what will happen limit fx x tends to a from positive hand side right hand side limit of fx at x tends to a should be equal to f of a okay so then this is continuous at a okay then at b what should happen limit f of x x tends to b now i am not concerned about the right hand side because the function i am not considering right hand side of b so only from b minus fx should be equal to f of b then it will be continuous at b okay and for all other internal points i should check okay that okay limit let c be some internal point so limit fx so x tends to c minus should be equal to limit f of x x tends to c plus should be equal to f of c 
then it will be so for all points C in the interval A to B in the open interval so this definition will be used and for the boundary points this definition should be used so this should be for A and this should be for B and for all other internal points they should be used okay so based on what we have studied let's try to see a few things okay so first function that is very common function a uh, absolute value function fx is mod x so is this function is this continuous okay continuous function so i say continuous so because i write some correct spelling okay so we will now we have to find if is this function continuous so we will draw the graph x y and f of x if we expand so this is equal to x if x is greater than equal to 0 minus x x is less than 0 okay so what it becomes now so fx is x if x is greater than equal to 0 so I can draw like this okay and fx is minus x if x is less than 0 so minus x so something like this so I could draw this fx is minus x continuously till here and I could draw fx is equal to x continuously only thing I have to see at x is equal to 0 so if I have to see is fx continuous and what is the domain of this function fx okay so the domain is minus infinity to plus infinity isn't it this whole is the domain so this is defined on whole of the real number line now what we have to check is the function continuous everywhere so how we will see so let us have x is equal to 0 let's try to see so limit f of x x tends to 0 minus so I'm coming from this side, this side and I'm becoming very close to 0. So limit fx, x tends to 0 minus is 0. Then limit f of x, x tends to 0 plus I'm coming from this side. I'm also becoming very close to 0. So this is 0. f of 0 is by definition 0 so limit so f is continuous at 0 now let's see for all points c less than 0 so what happens so any point at this point so f of f of c c is less than 0 will be what it will be so c is less than 0 so what will be so fc is minus of c isn't it and if we see the limit also so limit fx x tends to c so what happens so we are coming at let's say we come from here so as we approach from here or as we approach from here so both the sides fx extends to c so we will get the value is equal to c isn't it minus c so when we are approaching okay let's see so this is c is less than 0 so what happens so lot of disturbance coming so 
So now what happens is that f is at any point here we see that okay this is c so if we approach c from this side then also the value is what minus c isn't it and if we approach from this side also the value is minus c so left hand and right hand limits are same here and the value is also minus c so all the left hand limit right hand limit and value are minus c similarly if c is greater than 0 let's say c is something here so we approach from left hand side so limit f of x x tends to c minus so what will happen again this is approaching this is equal to c limit f of x x tends to c plus so this is also now c and the value is also c okay so f of c is also c hence we see this function is continuous everywhere on the real number line fx so i hope you understand this thanks a lot